Singapore we go. It's very long line here. Lucky that we are quite early, so we have time. We have to wait for so long. How are you feeling, Glenn? I'm just glad that we made it. Hopefully, on the top. We're off to Singapore today. I think it's around nine hours. And then we get there about, hopefully, all going well, six o'clock tonight. So we have to chuck our bags in our hotel room. We're staying at Yotel Air. Uh, Singapore Airport which is in the jewel so that should be quite good and then um, yeah, go into town have something nice to eat head back to the airport sleep wake up in the morning and off to Lao we go all checked in and we need to rush through now to get lunch because let me tell you I'm not eating what's on the scoop menu how was the experience so far we checked in And our big bag, it's go straight through to Vientiane. How is it going to make it to Vientiane? It's going to sit somewhere in Singapore for 17 hours and get lost. Let's, let's update everyone in a few hours time and see what happens. From Melbourne Airport, having lunch. I hope you did. He was very grumpy with um, our Lao health decoration stuff. We checked in, we had our lunch, even though my lunch is not good. It was awful, but what can one expect from yeah, the exactly. Food? But can't wait until we have food in Singapore. Got my and contraband for on flight treats that Scoop doesn't allow you to take on board, but they can get stuffed because I'm not eating their crappy menu. For this trip, we are going home to Laos for one week, flying with Scoot via Singapore. So I think we're just gonna reveal school airlines and experience in Singapore first and then we keep another video for Laos. See you on the other side. Here we go. Shout out to Rachel, this takes me back to those CC Hub days. You need to bring your own food. You're not supposed to, you have to buy it from them. But what we can buy from them is not really, really ideal.
out to land. Yeah, and it's like next to our descent. Yet. Half an hour, I think. But we've got rainbow lights to welcome us to Singapore. Oh, right. We have arrived. Safe and sound. 9.30 Melbourne time, but it's 6.30 here and we've not had dinner, so... Can't wait to go out to the city to to and the city explore and have some food. How was your experience with good? It's fine. Not, my Not idea too of bad. Fine. It wasn't bad at all. Our journey has started here in Mel oh, not Melbourne, in Singapore Airport. We found the jewel. The jewel with Christmas tree. Very, very cheap. Looking forward to seeing it tomorrow in daylight as well. It's pretty gorgeous at the Glenn's walking so fast. Heading to our hotel. We're going to give a review of our hotel too, just to see how big, how comfortable, is it worth it to stay here. And then we're going to go eat. We have arrived. This is our hotel for the night right here at the Singapore airport. Normally you can check on another live page, it's a personless check-in, but they must be doing it a little bit differently at the moment. It's for the little Yotel Air Concierge robots, I'd like to know what they do. <laughs> what room number again? <laughs> Imagine that. Open the door. See another person lying in bed. Good God. Very cute. Very, very small. It will do. Just for one night. Dinner. So excited. It's gonna eat a lot. Where do we start? I know. Let me find an ATM for machine it. first. Market in um, Singapore CBD district, 
and um, now just going for a walk. It's still kind of hot. Um, we had a great we had a great dinner. We had, even though it might be late, it's just about eleven o'clock at night. My watch is on the wrong side. Um, and must have the skewers. You need, you need to know the right one as well. The there right are so you'll many know, places. You'll know it's the right one because the line's really massive. And you need to make sure you get cash out because they only take cash. And make sure you find a good ATM because otherwise you get like a massive exchange difference. But we, anyway, it was so worth it. Really good we had. Chicken skewers, um, beef skewers, and like the most freshest, amazing prawn skewers with really good satay sauce. Then we found amazing roti. We found Hokkaido cheesecakes. We found cheese tarts. One had Hainan duck rice or something similar to that. That was that was quite good. And we had a big jug of beer. So it's been a good night. One flash, quick stint in Singapore before we head to Laos in the morning. After our nightlife in Singapore, ate lots of food. We are now in the hotel room at the airport. I'm feeling mildly uncomfortable in my makeshift outfit compiled of clothes from one suitcase which as you know there's a mild size discrepancy between the two of us but nonetheless we've, we've worked out something yeah we make do but... this room is so fine for one night but I would absolutely die if I had to stay here for more than that because it's for someone that doesn't like small spaces it's very small but it's clean, yep. tidy, at least it has a the good size shower, it's got a sink, although the sink's broken and now the plug's stuck in it and it's got a sink full of water but I can't be bothered phoning. Yeah, and I don't like the shower that, that doesn't have a door, so when you take a shower, water it's just runs like everywhere, yeah. And also, it, you can literally hear everything, it's like, a, they're literally like pods, but it it's seriously practical, like it's... Good location. It's so yeah. worth it as far as the location it takes away all the stress. But is it reasonably expensive? I guess not for Singapore, but maybe like three three hundred and twenty Australian dollars, yeah. two hundred and eighty Singapore dollars just for one night. But anyway, at least we can get up in the morning, relax, and off we trot to Lao. Yes, and we have lots of plaques, but then they are not on. The bedside so you literally have to get up and pluck your phone somewhere these are good shelves at least that's good yeah and anything else that we picked up free coffee was good oh yeah that's nice but seriously yeah. like the location is literally right beside the jewel so you walk out of the hotel entrance across the hallway ish bit and then that is like like the perfect viewing platform for the big waterfall jewel thing so it's pretty cool like that the lifts right there, really easy to to access the taxis, and also like they don't have Uber here, but um, they have one that we use, which has been quite good tonight and quite cheap, called Grab. It was like twenty four dollars or to go from Changi to, to the, the city. CBD, yeah. and then on the way home when it was a bit later, it was thirty three Singapore dollars, so not yeah. too bad really. You like, can still go by yeah, you can still Melbourne. go by train, a lot with, cheaper. Oh, train's really cheap, but it was just easy, especially yeah. when we, when you're short on time, it made it nice and chilled. at the same time you've got everything you need the bed is quite comfy big enough for two people you've got a tv here you've got a hook here to hang your jacket you've got a small chair which is right down here and the bathroom it's see through the glass quite good and in terms of location it is such a practical location for transit right at the airport and close to June the waterfalls so pretty beautiful and yeah and this room I think is quite good for a 
short stay, I wouldn't say that it's good for a long term stay or anything more than two nights, I, I would say it's too small.